Padres with a chance to grab a share of first place in the NL West. However, they have to get past Jonathan Sanchez, who no hit them last year. Matt Latos, the Padres starter, first career out against the San Francisco Giants. In the first, able to get the double play out of Edgar Renteria. Then in the third, two on one down. And again, Renteria hits it to the double play. Nice work from Latos early on. Go to the top of the fourth. Check out David Eckstein. A little looper out behind second. Eckstein makes the catch. Oh, my. He's in the Giants' hair again. He can do a lot of different things for you. Bottom of the inning, Chase Headley a single. He's on at first base, and he's off and running, able to steal second. One of three stolen bases for Headley. Loses his belt buckle on the play, but puts on the new belt. He's raring to go, and same at bat, Kyle Blanks. The foul pop, Aubrey Huff, big catch, falls over the wall, counts as a catch, but Headley able to move over to third base, and that was big as the very next batter, Scott Hairston, lofts a fly ball to right, Headley tagging at third base, and Headley will just beat this throw. one nothing, San Diego, go to the top of the eighth, Nate Shearholz, a triple, Mike Adams on for the Padres, and Adams... Able to get Eli Whiteside to ground out to third base. So we have one out with the potential tying run 90 feet away. Then here's the key out. Benji Molina pops out. Adrian Gonzalez able to grab it. So now two down. Now the Giants need a hit. Eugenio Velez not able to deliver. He fell in the ninth. One out away. Runners on first and third. Able to strike out John Bowker and the Padres win it. one nothing. Bell, his fourth save of the season. Padres win despite just one hit. That hit belongs to Chase Headley. He came around to score not long after. Matt Leto's first win of the season. Seven scoreless frames allowed only four hits. So the Padres have won five in a row and tie the Giants for first place in the NL West.